How do you think you guys did this game? Um, we struggled here and there. I think fundamentals, I think just, I think we lacked communication. I think that was our biggest problem, like expecting someone else to grab the ball when we were supposed to. I think, I think our biggest thing was just communication. Um, I think we have come together as a team a lot more this year than previous years. Um, I think we, our chemistry on the court is very important and that's what we lacked last year. And um, I think that helps with our dynamic and how we play. I think that's what we've done better this year. Not having a chance to practice after Thursday, Friday matches, I thought we were a little sluggish. Came out with a lot of enthusiasm, played well the first two sets. And then again, not, not being able to practice before a match started showing up. Again, we, we try to establish a family atmosphere with this team. And all of a sudden, when it came down to uh, crunch time, we have a saying, pressure is a privilege. And so it was time right there to, to absorb and, and want that pressure because there's not a lot of people who get to experience that. Mm -hmm. We're 18 and 14, so some of the girls are a little disappointed, but what I try to explain to them, the big part is getting into the NWAC playoffs, and then it's a whole new season. Yeah. It's a whole new ball game, and uh, that's our job then as coaches to get them ready for that. So what was the attitude like playing Umqua after the news and everything? We have a lot of respect for their coach and that team. And so when we went down there on Thursday, we honored them, the girls did, by wearing the yellow and gold ribbons to, for the show the Umqua Strong. And then here tonight, we developed a good little friendship with them. And a couple of the girls still had the ribbons on. So. Okay. We have a lot of respect for that coach and that team. Hey,